He now is a record holder from the uh, for the uh, pet, uh, touchdown passes, passing Peyton Manning. And for anybody to think it's going to go back and forth with Tom Brady, I don't believe that. I know you don't believe that. We'll, we'll get to we'll that We'll get as to well. that in a minute. Absolutely. Uh, this is his record, and it's going to be how far he takes this thing. It was that game of cat and mouse because they got off to a hot start in the first half. They are already starting the route of the Colts. And right before halftime, the Col- they uh, get down near the red zone. The Saints are driving. It's a two-minute drive. And they get down there, and Drew Brees throws a touchdown strike that he thinks has the record before the half. <laughs> And then an offensive pass interference. I mean, ah, ah. I mean, only the Saints, yeah. right? Oh yeah, it's only the Saints. The Saints' relationship with the officials—it's complicated, man. So of course, in a home game with the world watching and the chance to set the record right before the half, the officials interfere with the moment. It's just—it's so on brand for that that very tempestuous relationship between that team and the officials. It's the folks of the Buffalo Wild Wings hoping that this game would go into the second half so that people would have to watch through to the record, which we are tremendously thankful for. But so we get that moment, which is all too appropriate for the New Orleans Saints. Then finally in the second half, and this is my favorite part of it because we go and we get down and obviously early in the third quarter, the Saints are in scoring position again. And they drop a big pass down, and they uh, they they hit a pass on a uh, underneath route to Taysom Hill of all people, yeah. who takes it down to about the four la- yard line. So we're down at the four yard line. Drew Brees is one touchdown away from breaking the record. Sean Payton, as we've seen, the play calling skews heavily in favor of Brees Correct. because they all understand <clears throat> what's at stake. And the Colts somehow bite on a play action fake down at the goal line. Like that first opportunity was going to go to anybody but Drew Brees, and instead he gets a wide open Josh Hill. And thus passes uh, Peyton Manning uh, for the most touchdown passes in NFL history. 29 of 30. 12 of those targets were to Michael Thomas, who caught every single one of them. There are so many numbers and people to talk about. In this game, it's ridiculous. We'll get to the Michael Thomas thing. Yeah, we will. Because it is almost as crazy as what's going on with Drew Brees. Let me ask everybody this, though. That 29 of 30, by the way, an NFL record for single game completion Yes, that would be the completion percentage. 96.7%. 96.7%. I mean, come on. So, uh, Drew Brees, for those that may have forgotten, was the first pick of the second round in 2001 by the San Diego Chargers. Trey, you don't answer this because you'll know it. (laughs) He didn't start that year. Who was the starting quarterback? I'm not. I'm not allowed to participate. No, so. you you are not allowed to participate. Who was the starting quarterback his rookie year in 2001? He did not start. Another guy started. An old quarterback. He was 38 or 39 at the time. He had been around a little bit. Actually, he'd been around to a couple of different leagues as well. Oh, okay. Doug Flutie. Doug Flutie. Ding Doug ding, Flutie. ding 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 ding. Doug Flutie was the starting ding. quarterback. <laughs> Drew Brees' rookie year, and then Drew Brees took over uh, after that, spent, as we know, yeah. a few years there, and then ended up almost with the Miami Dolphins, exactly. which is another story. The only quarterback the room Saints. in the NFL with no one who could dunk. Yeah, uh, oh, nicely done. Wow. But here, here's nothing, just I, before we get, in, we get into everything else, real quickly about that, because uh, there was a trade. I knew you'd there. have a story. So. There was a trade. Well, you know, <laughs> the, they traded the number one pick to Atlanta, so they took Michael, Michael Vick. Vick. right. In that draft... From that trade, the Chargers in the first round took LaDainian Tomlinson and got Drew Brees in the second round. That's right. That's a really good trade. That's a win. We thought we saw last year down the stretch of the season a little bit of a decline. How much longer is he going to be doing this? Man. I mean. Like, how much longer can he play like this in that system with those people around? Here's the thing, too. The ball is, you know, a lot of times when the quarterback gets older, the passes maybe get a little shorter. Last night. He was 11 of 11 on passes over 10 yards and 7 of 7 on passes over 15 yards in the air. So, I mean, he is he is still hoisting the ball downfield. He's got some good receivers, one all-timer right now in Michael Thomas, which, again, we'll get into, and other good receivers. So, and that offense, as we know, when it's run by a Hall of Famer, you can sit there and say it's quarterback friendly, but it's not like anybody can go in there, though Teddy Bridgewater did pretty well when he stepped in uh, as a backup. So, Listen, and like anything else, you know, he has been pretty fortunate. Tom Brady has been pretty fortunate with injury, you know, these older quarterbacks. Um, so, it, especially, remember, he missed six games this year. Six games with the thumb. Imagine if he didn't where his stats may be and the way he's throwing the ball around. So, I mean, 
I don't. I, I got to think a couple of more years if he wants to. Well, and I think especially the way the Saints offensively have continued to now adding a secondary and tertiary receiving option, not named Alvin Kamara behind Michael yeah. Thomas, would probably be on the to do list. But the fact that they have kept a great running back in his backfield, a great wide receiver out flanking him, and an offensive line that has reloaded in front of him as well as a testament to why he could have that longevity. Hi everyone, thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports, more analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. We'll see you there.